welcome in Jesus' name. In this video, I will be talking about do not take side against the word. Do not take side against the word of God. Before we proceed, I want to enjoin you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that so that you can be notified when we upload new videos and as you do that the lord bless you in jesus name now do not take side against the word do not take side against the word of god some read the word of god this thing to uh the uh, the word of god with the perspective of argument they want to argue with the word now they want to argue their point out they want to justify the way they are living their life they are looking for a reason why they should continue in what they are doing they are looking for the scripture to back themselves up in the wrong thing that they are doing now if you are reading the word of god with such a mindset it will not help you it will not be a blessing to you you need to read the word of god with an open heart with a with a heart to know you want to know more about god you want to understand him and that should be the reason why uh you want to read the word of god another thing is that you ask the holy spirit to help you to tutor you in the word of god you know bible is coded for you to understand it you need the help of the holy spirit i want to read this scripture but the helper comforter the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that i said to you john chapter 14 verse 26 new king james version if you look at this passage the bible says the holy spirit the helper will come then we teach us all things and we remind us all the things that jesus has taught us so through the help of the holy spirit you have deeper understanding of the word of god the essence of the holy spirit on the inside of a believer is to help us to live our christian life uh, in line with the word of god to teach us the word of god to live our christian life uh, to please god it, it will teach us how to walk with him that's the essence of the holy spirit on the inside of us so for you to be tutored in the word of god you need the help of the holy spirit then you need to invite him to tell him to do that all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god may be complete thoroughly equipped for every good work second timothy chapter 3 uh, verse 6, 16 and 17 new king james version some people question the authenticity and the accuracy of the bible of the word of god they challenge those who canonize the bible they say who appointed those who canonize the bible then what criteria did they use that is what are the standard and principles by which the books of the bible were canonized what are the standard and principles they use to judge the books of the bible that they canonize and they have series of questions they ask about it they said the bible is adulterated it's not real it's not standard they have a lot of reasons why they will not believe the word of god now if you have a mindset like this you will not be able to receive what god has for you in his word that means you are taking sides against the word of god and you will not be able to receive the message god has for you in it now you read the word of god with an open heart like i've said you have the holy spirit to tutor you then it is through the knowledge of the word of god you can be made free now you will know the truth and the truth will make you free i want to read this scripture and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free john chapter 8 verse 32 new king james version it is the knowledge of the truth that set free the knowledge you practice the truth you practice will set you free the truth you disagree with cannot set you free 
you must agree with the word of God for you to be blessed through it, for you to be set free through it. If you disagree with the knowledge of the truth, if you disagree with the truth you know, with the truth that comes on your way, then you can be set free through that. So you must have a right heart, you must open your heart to receive the word for you to derive benefit from me. So do not take sides against the word of God. Do not read the Bible to argue your point, but read it to know more about God. I want you to hear this. But avoid foolish disputes, genealogies, contentions, and strivings about the law. They are unprofitable and useless. Titus chapter 3 verse 9, New King James Version. If you look at this passage, he said we should ab- avoid disputes, argument. Now, this cannot profit you. There are some that like arguing the word of God. They argue with everything that the Bible says. They don't disagree. They disagree with the word of God. Now, this can, be, this can bless you if you have, you have a mindset like that. Some even study the Bible in Hebrew and Greek so that they can have enough knowledge to argue their point, then that will not be a blessing to you. Any knowledge that you have that is not helping you to move closer to God is not a good knowledge. It's a knowledge that will lead to destruction. Hear this. We know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge pops up, makes arrogant, but love edifies, builds up. First Corinthians 8, verse 1 new king james version if you look at the place read it said knowledge pops up but love edifies love builds up now if you have knowledge if you don't channel that knowledge towards the right thing then there's tendency for you to be arrogant to pops up that i know this i know this the bible says this the bible says this but that knowledge is not blessing you it's not you know, building you up. It's not helping you to know more about God. That knowledge is mainly for argument. Now, you don't study the word of God because you want to argue your point out. You don't do that. You cannot derive any benefit from it through that. The knowledge you have should be for building up of the body of Christ to build up other believers to help other believers to bless other people if your knowledge is not building up other people it's not a good knowledge now you should not be a fruitless tree the lord jesus christ wants us to be fruitful after you have given your life to the lord jesus christ as you acquire the knowledge of the world then you have to use that knowledge to bless other people up to abuse other people up not to be arrogant not to uh, to puff up because you know one thing or the other is to build other people up. I want you to hear this. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. John chapter 15, verses 1, 2, and 16, New King James Version. If you look at the passage you read, no, he he told us that the essence of choosing us is to bear fruit. If you do not bear fruit, you will be cut off. Now, if you bear fruit, you will be pruned so that you can bear more fruit. Uh, you can bear more fruit. So that's the essence of knowledge. You want us to go out there, use the knowledge we have acquired, the knowledge of him we have, to bless other people, to draw people to him, to edify other people, to strengthen them in their Christian faith. That's the essence of knowledge. If your own knowledge is to argue, to support yourself in the wrong thing that you are doing, that's not a good knowledge. Now, that knowledge is not profitable. It is not blessing you and it doesn't bless anybody because there is no wisdom in arguing, uh, in argument. If your knowledge is mainly for argument, not to build build anybody up, not to build the church of Christ, that's not 
a good knowledge is not profitable is not fruitful that means you are not being fruitful now i want you to hear this for i say to you that unless your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and pharisees you will by no means end that enter the kingdom of heaven matthew chapter 5 verse 20 new king james version now if you look at this passage jesus said unless your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the pharisees you not enter the kingdom of heaven these scribes and the pharisees they have knowledge of the word of god but that knowledge is not blessing other people they have this head knowledge but they don't impart uh, other people with this knowledge that they have acquired now your knowledge is to bless other people to expand the kingdom of god he said that you have the key jesus told them you have the key to the kingdom of god you do not enter those who want to enter you do not allow them to enter but they have the key the key there is talking about the knowledge they have the knowledge of the kingdom of god instead of them to use that knowledge to build themselves up and build other people up, to bring other people to the kingdom of God. They were using that knowledge negatively, wrongly. They were using it to argue, to stand against the truth. Whenever Jesus preaches about something, they will use that knowledge they've acquired to antagonize him, to stand against him. So they were using the knowledge wrongly. So if you have acquired any knowledge about the word of God and you are using it wrongly, that will not help you and it will not benefit you. It is my, it is my prayer that you will not fail, you will not regret at the end of your journey on heart. So if you are reading the word of God with perspective of argument, the reason why you are reading or studying the word of God is to argue your point out. To stand against the truth that will not help you i want you to repent now some have studied the greek, the bible in hebrew and greek mainly to argue their point if you have done that i want you to repent any knowledge you have acquired about the word of god about god use the knowledge to bless other people don't take sides against the word of god don't question the authority of the bible the authenticity of the bible that will not help you Read the word of God with a open heart. Act to know more about God and allow the Holy Spirit to tutor you as you read. You will not fail in the name of Jesus. You fulfill the purpose of your being in the mighty name of Jesus. Peace in Jesus' name. I want to remind you again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I want you to do that before you go and press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new videos. The Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Peace.